Hello. Not done a video for a while, so I thought I'd give this one a try. It's a, what make is it? Blue Spot. I'm sure you've all heard of them. Quality padlocks. And it's a disc detainer lock. Just a, just a padlock really. Disc detainer, retains the key. And works fine. Now to pick one of these, you need one of these. And a bit of practice. This took an awful lot of uh, an awful lot of filing down and polishing before I got it to work at all really. <laughs> but you pay fiver from China, what do you expect? So the first thing we need to do, if I can turn the keyway around, is you see the vertical keyway in there, we've got to spin all them 90 degrees. The easiest way. Get a nice flat file, put it in give it a spin so they're all that way around now and now it's in a position where we can pick it is the plan so I'll position myself over and hopefully we'll get it picked now usually on these locks there's not many active discs if you like a lot of them will be set at 90 degrees but that one wasn't that one there was you're only looking at 30 or 40 degrees maximum turn on any of them due to the nature of the way it's cut tension on and off all the time It's quite hard finding your way around where you're up to with this as well. Feeling for the next pin, next disc if you like. And I've missed a few there straight away. There we go. Blimey, that wasn't too bad. So, sorry about the lack of commentary. I was uh, deep in thought and hoping and praying that it was going to work. But uh, not a bad lock to pick. The tool takes some practice, some getting used to, and just feeling your way between the pins. You're turning them with this end here, which needed a lot of modification for it to work properly. It came as a huge blob of weld, nicely enough. But there you have it. One disc detainer lock picked. Thank you very much.